pre-disclaimer coming up here. If you're going to build today's tutorial, I would suggest that you build this in an area that gets AFK'd a lot or that just gets loaded a lot because this without a doubt is one of the slowest farms I have ever seen in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. It, it really feels like 1.17, they've really made automation of any new items painfully slow painfully slow so please keep that in mind that if you're going to go build this i would highly suggest as i said to build this in an area that is loaded a lot that being said let's jump into today's tutorial today we're going to do a tutorial on a dripstone we got the dripstone block here and we got the new dripstone which was added in 1.17 a couple of unique things about the dripstone is that if you have water above a dripstone a block above dripstone itself if you were to actually place down a cauldron and give it time you can get an infinite source of water now that one just kind of seems a bit weird to me because you know we've been able to have infinite sources of water in the game forever but what is nice is that if you do this same exact setup here with lava you can get a renewable source of lava which that by itself is something new and nice so if i just change up my game's tick speed here just to demonstrate here that over time these cauldrons will all fill up with lava which is nice so you could potentially make a automated afk farm where you could get all the lava that you could want for free without having to destroy your nether or anything else like that another interesting thing to point out with dripstone is that mobs that fall upon it including players as well take extra damage so if we take this zombie here as an example and spawn him in when he falls onto the dripstone he takes a lot more increased fall damage compared to the default if i spawn a zombie here yeah he's still alive if i spawn him there yeah that's a big difference and if i spawn him all the way up here at the top please die sir he finally died so that is a very nice new change as well so that could potentially be used in upcoming farms but what we're on to today is this an automated dripstone farm now of course as i said here i've got the game's tick speed increased and it is really really fast right now at, you know 4,000 ticks and you can see here this is painfully slow so for each individual slice, each individual layer of this farm, just one slice out here, what you're going to need is a chest, two pistons, a hopper, observer, dripstone, pointed dripstone, water source, X number of clear blocks, building blocks of your choice, and then of course, three redstone dust. So let's, let's grab all this and let's get started. So first things first here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put a hopper down going into this block right here and we're going to go ahead and put a chest right there an interesting side effect is that dripstone will actually grow on hoppers 90 percent sure that's not a thing in java edition so you know live it up bedrock because that makes collection for this farm a lot easier so from right there we're going to place a piston right there we're going to put a building block of choice right here in the back and one on top of our piston right there we're going to grab our observer we're going to face it pointing forward right there we're going to grab our glass and come up two blocks break that one as we do not need it and put a building block of choice right there from there we're going to go ahead and put a piston up there let's go ahead and grab our redstone and go ahead and get this wired in real quick boom 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 just like that so anytime something grows in front of the observer here it will power off both pistons top and bottom now let's go ahead and grab an additional building block and put it right there and right there now from here we're going to put our dripstone right there from there we're going to go ahead and grab the point of dripstone and place it right there and now we just need to enclose all of this so at this point we're going to cover all that up right there and we're going to put our water right there and as you can see here as i noted before my tick speed has been greatly increased that is it that is it so if we were to encase all of this in glass this thing right here will provide you with the dripstone that you want so as you can see there it works and if you want to expand this thing which i would recommend doing just go ahead and knock that glass out right there go ahead and grab you another hopper put down here grab you another piston and just continue the same pattern over and over again 
It's that simple, people. It's that simple. So we're going to go ahead and throw in another observer there. We're going to go ahead and put in our piston right there. We're going to uh, grab our dripstone. Boop. We're going to go ahead and pull all this over this way. We're going to let our water come into there. And place that. Nope, wrong block. Grab that. Place that right there. Infinitely expandable. You can make this thing as large as you want. And then, of course, close it all up. And you're good to go. It's really, really simple. And you could expand this thing out as large as you want it to be. This is a smaller example right here that's been upgraded just a little bit. I said smaller. I meant larger. I meant larger. But you get the point. You get the point. And that's all there is to it, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. So I think that right there is where we're going to go ahead and call this a tutorial. If you've enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button down below. If you'd like to see more, please consider subscribing. And on that note, I will catch all of you all in the next one. Goodbye, everybody.